Welcome to the Citra Intersection tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Intersection Input dialog to set up basic intersection configuration. If you are new to Citra Intersection, please watch the User Interface tutorial series first. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. Now let's begin. When the program starts, the Site tab will open with an empty project. We will create and configure roundabout, sign-controlled, and signalized intersection sites as examples. Let's create the roundabout site first. In the Add New Site group in the ribbon, click the Roundabout command and select Roundabout Unsignalized Two-Lane Site. The corresponding default roundabout site will be added to the project. Remember to save your projects regularly, as a project file is not saved automatically after changes are made. Let's save our project as Site Input 1R. Click Layout in the ribbon to view a picture of the physical layout of the default roundabout site. The layout picture is not drawn to an exact scale and is not intended to be a design drawing. Input dialog list for the roundabout site will appear in the Site Input section in the Project pane. It's important that you always start your data specification with the Intersection dialog. This is because the intersection configuration established in this dialog will determine the geometry and movement data structure used in all other dialogs. Click Intersection under Site Input to open the dialog. The dialog consists of the Intersection tab and the Properties tab. The Intersection tab allows you to establish the configuration of intersection legs and specify approach data. Dialog tips can be accessed by clicking the link provided at the bottom left corner. Close it by clicking Dialog tips again. This is available in all input dialogs. Let's review the dialog buttons before making input changes. OK means accept the changes and close the dialog. Click Cancel or press the Escape key when you do not want the changes to be saved. Use Apply to accept the changes and keep the dialog open. You don't need to click Apply if you're going to click OK or Process Site. Process Site means accept the data changes, close the dialog, and process input data, carrying out computations to produce output. The site name, site ID, site category, and site title are useful for input and output purposes. The site name, site ID, and site category identify the site in the project pane and in output reports and displays. The site ID is particularly useful for distinguishing individual sites in networks. The Site category is used for obtaining project summary reports in a flexible way. The Site title allows multi-line text for identifying site characteristics in addition to the information provided by the site name and site category. The Approach Editor is used for selection of both existing and non-existing legs. You can delete or add legs to modify the geometry of the intersection or rotate the intersection to suit your case. Click a leg or use the F2 or Shift F2 key or the mouse wheel to select an intersection leg. After selecting the leg, use the Leg Geometry drop-down list in the Approach Geometry group to choose an option to define the geometry of the selected leg. Select No Leg to delete the North Leg to configure a three-leg roundabout site as we described in the Site Title field. The relevant data changes will be done automatically in other input dialogs. The program allocates the word Road Name as the default name. Double-click to select it and type the road name. 
Let's give the names Alpha Street to the south leg and Gamma Street to the east and west legs. In the Approach Geometry group, you can specify the approach distance and exit distance values. These are particularly important in network modeling. The exit distance will be the same as approach distance when the default program option is selected. Where necessary, the input option can be used to specify a different exit distance. Let's specify an approach distance for the south leg in this example. Extra bunching parameter in the approach data group is mainly used to allow the effect of upstream signals on the capacity of roundabouts and two-way sign-controlled intersections. The program option will result in automatic calculation of extra bunching in network analysis under the Network tab. For individual site analysis under the Site tab, select the Input option and specify a value using the method recommended in the user guide. Click the Properties tab to inspect the site attributes. If desired, you can enter detailed notes about the site in the Site Information box. Click OK to accept the changes and close the dialog. Close the roundabout site layout picture. Save the project. Let's add a stop sign control site to our project and change its basic configuration in the intersection input dialog. Click the sign control command in the add new site group in the ribbon and select the stop two-way east-west major road site. Click Layout to view a functional layout picture of the default stop sign control site. Then open the Intersection Input dialog. When the site type is Two-Way Stop or Two-Way Giveway or Yield, the Sign Control section appears with the Approach Control drop-down list at the bottom of the dialog. The Approach Control parameter can be used to reconfigure control conditions at a two-way sign-controlled intersection. The rest of the dialog is identical to the intersection dialog for the roundabout site. Let's remove the south leg of this site. In the Approach Editor, click the Rotate button twice to rotate the site so that the side road of the T intersection becomes the east leg. Complete the site name, site ID, site category, site title data fields, and the road names. Click OK to accept the changes and close the dialog. Close the Sign Control Site layout picture. Save the project. Let's add a signalized intersection to the project and inspect the Intersection Input dialog. Click the Signals command in the Add New Site group in the ribbon and select the At Grade Intersection site. Click Layout to view a functional layout picture of the default signalized intersection site. Open the Intersection Input dialog. For signalized sites, the Intersection dialog has the Signals section with the Area Type Factor parameter at the bottom of the dialog. This parameter affects the lane saturation flow rates. For an intersection in a city center environment, a value of 0.9 is recommended for reduced saturation flow rates. Let's apply this value to all approaches using the Quick Input function. The Quick Input function is available in all input dialogs for easy data entry. Complete the site name, site ID, site category, site title data fields, and the road names.
Click OK to accept the changes and close the dialog. Close the signalized site layout picture. Save the project. This concludes our tutorial on the Intersection Input Dialog in Sidra Intersection. Thank you for watching.